We present a novel method for reconstructing a high dynamic range image from a single low dynamic range photograph. As conventional sensors have a limited dynamic range, we propose to employ a cross-screen filter in front of the main camera lens. The filter spreads out the energy from very bright image regions to neighboring pixels in form of a star-shaped glare pattern. We present algorithms to separate the glare from the desired scene and use the encoded information to reconstruct saturated image regions. The cross-screen filter is a standard photographic filter that can be mounted on most camera lenses. Grooves on the filter surface spread the incident light in a discrete number of directions. Photographing a small light source reveals a star-shaped pattern that acts as a shift-invariant convolution kernel. While a conventional objective lens focuses light on the image sensor, a single groove spreads some of the incident light rays and smears out their energy along a line that is orthogonal to the groove on the sensor. Multiple parallel grooves increase the intensity of the same line on the sensor while grooves that have different angles on the filter create glare lines with corresponding angles on the sensor. We have measured that the point spread function of the glare along the star-shaped lines can be well approximated with an exponential function which is linear in log space. The parameters of this exponential falloff are unique to a filter and can be estimated by capturing images of small light sources. In our paper, we show that the superposition of multiple exponential glare patterns yields an aggregated glare that corresponds to an exponential function with the same slope as the individual contributions. In order to separate the glare from the scene details, we use a sparse gradient prior for natural images. In this example, we see the histogram of image gradients along the highlighted scan line. As glare is gradually added to the image, the gradient distribution changes significantly. We utilize this observation and formulate the glare estimation in terms of maximum likelihood estimation. Having separated the glare from the image, we use the encoded information to estimate the unknown saturated image regions. The one-dimensional measurements along parallel rays of one glare direction correspond to different line integrals of the missing region. This is essentially a tomography problem, in which multiple line integrals from different directions are used to reconstruct an unknown volume. The individual glare directions in our case therefore correspond to different views of a tomography problem. Here we see an exposure sequence of a low dynamic range photograph that is captured with a cross screen filter. Image details in the bright regions are lost due to the sensor saturation. With our reconstruction, we can remove the glare from the image and reconstruct the saturated parts. These are faithfully estimated as seen in this comparison to a reference image, which was composed from multiple exposures without the cross screen filter. Details that would be lost in a low dynamic range photograph can be recovered with our approach and greatly enhance the image quality. This is another result, which shows that fine details in the saturated regions are reconstructed. We tested our approach on a variety of images, as seen in these examples. We show comparisons to ground truth photographs for all of these in the paper.